Just off historic Route 66 in San Bernardino County, there's a forest of trees growing in the middle of the desert. Well, it's a recycler's paradise. I'm John Bartell. Make a little pit stop at Elmer's Bottle Tree Ranch. Blue ones, green ones, brown ones, and even clear ones. Like leaves on trees, the wind shakes colorful bottles hanging from a metal tree trunk planted on a sandy lot in the town of Oro Grande. You know, this is kind of just like a, a bit of color in like the bleak desert here. <laughs> that it is. The bottle trees, as they're known, were built by the late Elmer Long. <laughs> it's a pipe load of memories. A folk artist who passed away in 2019. He retired from the cement plant, but what did he do? He created art. He truly did. Brian McKenzie's the current caretaker of the Bottle Tree Ranch, and if you catch him walking through the glassy forest, he might just tell you how it all started. Where did he get all of these bottles? Well, I mean, some are donated, a lot of them are found. Brian says when Elmer was a kid, for fun, he and his father would hike the desert and collect old glass bottles. Do you have any idea of how many bottles are out here? He didn't count, so neither did I. <laughs> With bottles piling up, Elmer decided to display them, so in the early 2000s, he got some old metal pipe and welded tree limbs for the bottles to sit on. There's a whole lot more in here than just bottles. Route 66 is known for its odd roadside attractions, and Brian says it's not uncommon for the Bottle Tree Ranch to see 500 people a day, and the forest is always growing. There's 200 plus trees, I've added probably about 15 myself. Elmer loved to inspire his visitors. Donations are accepted, but here, there's no entry fee. What do you think Elmer hoped people walked away with? A smile. From Elmer's Bottle Tree Ranch, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.